Newts are amphibious and can live just as well in water as on land. In the pond, they soon lose their dull winter appearance and become very attractive in spotted suitings that are all the rage at this time of year. They hunt greedily about for insects and worms, which they devour in order to grow fatter. For gentlemen newts are like the owners of eastern harems and admire a tendency to plumpness. This lady is certainly leaving no worm unswallowed in order to achieve sex appeal. Now the gentleman newts leave the land and take the plunge. The coats they wear to go a-wooing are amazingly attractive all glittering and brightly colored. Their chief decoration is, however, a wonderful crest which runs along the back from head to tail. No wonder this lady is transfixed by the gentleman's charms, and he, he appears equally struck by hers. For a brief time, the pond is the honeymoon home of the newts, a center of romance. But alas, in the newt world, marriage is brief and divorce certain. One by one, the newts leave the pond, hardly pausing to cast one longing, lingering look behind before they take once more to dry land. 